so today I'm back with my October plan with me video and I am usually not into doing like themes and that kind of thing but Halloween is one of my favorite holidays and October is one of my favorite months so I did do like kind of like a Halloween fall theme spread and I'm pretty obsessed with it so I hope you guys like this video and get some inspiration as always be sure to tag me in your recreations if you recreate any of them on Instagram and like this video if you like it let's just get right into the video so jumping right into this month's cover page I obviously wanted to start it off kind of similar to how I usually do it but I wanted to make it very October themed with the fall leaves the pumpkins Halloween so I got inspired by a few different people's spreads which I will of course link in the description I just don't know them off the top of my head and I like like finding doodles and stuff and then incorporating them into kind of like my own so I'll find like specific pumpkins to copy specific leaves and acorns but they're not necessarily all from the same person which why it kind of makes it hard linking everything but I just like combining a bunch of different elements and then making it my own and I did like another wreath type thing I did that last month in September as well but this time I tried to use like fall leaves, branches, and then I also put like this little bird thing, which I think looks really cool. And also I wanted to mention, cause I always get questions on what pens I use. I always link everything in the description, but this month I did switch to a smaller pen tip and I have been absolutely loving it. I think it's like a, called a Micron. Um, but yeah, I'll have that link down below as well. Moving into my actual title, I again just stuck with this really simplistic cursive and then I just thickened the downstrokes of the cursive and that's kind of how you get that like brush font look. And then I added my mini calendar as usual and erased all of my pencil marks and that is my finished cover page. Moving into my monthly calendar, I did the typical calendar layout but for my heading I decided to do this Halloween themed spider font that I found on defont.com. I'm not like sponsored or anything. I honestly use this website all the freaking time for like if I'm making posters or any art projects for this. I download fonts all the time. Like seriously, it's amazing. I'll link it down below and they have like themed ones so I just looked in the Halloween section. And then I'm honestly just filling it in with a thicker marker because it takes less time. But that's optional, you could fill it in with the same pen. <laughs> then I just moved on to making my grid and everyone always asks the dimensions of these boxes but I honestly changed up all the time. I think it's like four by five but you can just measure it out with pencil, it's pretty simple. And then I moved into writing my days of the week. I did switch to making it start on Monday so everything is consistent throughout the month because I usually start my weeks on Monday. And then I just did this like really casual cursive and I kind of tried to make it a little bit more bold which I really like. And then I of course numbered the boxes and then I did like these horizontal lines for the days that actually aren't October. And then I added a like drop shadow type effect with a dark pen and then I just wanted to show myself writing happy Halloween and then of course my hands in the way but I added like a little pumpkin and this hideous spider that I ended up fixing later which I'll show you because it's so ugly. <laughs> Moving straight away into my habit and mood tracker, nothing has changed here except for the font. I decided to use this gothic font, which again, I seriously just copied from defont.com. It was like the classic gothic font that they had and I thought this was fitting for the month and honestly, it just looked really cool. So I pretty much just drew it the best I could and then filled it in again with a thicker marker to save time. And if you don't know what habit and mood trackers are, I'll link my first video because I go a little bit more in depth. 
but basically it's just a way that I can track all of my good habits that I want to make a point to improve on and do more throughout the month and I can see how being more productive affects my mood. And then I also added the same birds that were on my cover page because I thought that they looked cool. And this pen was actually really good for drawing these. So. Then I moved on to my YouTube ideas and things I need. And these are just random lists that I can write things down in throughout the month. I wanted to do this like double border just because I thought it looked really clean. I don't know, I was bored. And then I did the same like really simple, this is kind of like my go-to cursive font and as you can see I like kind of follow where I wrote but it's more just like a guideline and then moving right into my important due dates and this is a new thing that I started once school started um, so I'll link that video my September plan with me down below but I just have like one page where I can put all of my important due dates for every single one of my classes um, like tests, quizzes, homework and last month I had this split with a overview of my class schedule but I do have my classes memorized by now so I did take up two pages to do this spread and then here I'm just drawing this really like creepy realistic spider drawing that I copied off Pinterest I think of course I'll leave it below but I think it looks really scary I don't know and then I used like thicker and thinner pens to add detail to it which I think really made it come to life and then I took my Tombow shader pen and added like these shadows so it would look like the spiders on the page and then you do it like darker towards where the feet actually are and I really like these for drawing you can really make your illustrations come to life and then I just added a spider web up in this corner to fill some space and fit the theme these are super simple to draw um, but I like when they're a little bit more imperfect and then I did decide to do two lines for each day of my classes but this is like pretty self-explanatory I really loved this last month I highly recommend it if you're in school and then I did want to show you how I like I made a little mistake so I just took a whiteout pen and you can see it pretty much goes away and then moving on to my weekly spread I started out with my title and my mini calendar in the right hand corner of the page and I like to shade in which week I'm on so I can see like where I am throughout the month and then I moved into doing my numbers and I continued with the same gothic font that I found online and just outlined those and then filled them in and I really love doing my weeks this way because you have a ton of room for bulleting underneath as opposed to doing them horizontally so I just carried this on for this month but I put the numbers up a little bit higher so I'd have more room to write the tasks. And then I went ahead and used a font that I used, I think, in like my first bullet journal video um, for the week, for the days of the week. That didn't make sense. Um, but yeah, I love this font for the days of the week. It's so fun to write in. So, also, if you aren't good at cursive, I highly recommend looking at different types of fonts and just practicing a ton because that's how I have gotten pretty good at it or else you can always just pick a simpler font and it also will look really good. To finish it off I added a this week section where I put tasks that are not assigned to a specific day and that finishes off my October plan with me. I went ahead and added some of my favorite pictures from September as usual. Here's the little pumpkin that I covered the spider with and that I just drew on some vanilla paper and paste it on there. I hope you guys liked this video. If you got inspiration, please tag me on Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Okay guys, so that is my finished video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.